Yorubaland Yoruba, Isle Yorubo, is the cultural region of the Yoruba people in West Africa. It spans the modern-day countries of Nigeria, Togo and Benin, and covers a total land area of 142,114 square kilometers or about the same size as the combined land areas of Greece and Montenegro, of which 106,016 square kilometers lies within Nigeria, 18.9% in Benin, and the remaining 6.5% is in Togo. The geocultural space contains an estimated 55 million people, the overwhelming majority of this population being ethnic Yorubas. About 5.3 million people are estimated to practice the Yoruba religion worldwide, with the largest number of practitioners being found in Nigeria. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Geophysically, Yoruba land spreads north from the Gulf of Guinea and west from the Niger River into Benin and Togo. In the northern section, Yoruba land begins in the suburbs just west of Lakoja and continues unbroken up to the Agu River tributary of the Mono River in Togo, a distance of around 610 km. In the south, it begins in an area just west of the Benin River occupied by the Alaja Yorubas and continues uninterrupted up to Porto Novo, a total distance of about 270 km as the crow flies. West of Porto Novo GBE speakers begin to predominate. The northern section is thus more expansive than the southern coastal section. The land is characterized by mangrove forests, estuaries and coastal plains in the south, which rise steadily northwards into rolling hills and a jagged highland region in the interior, commonly known as the Yorubaland Plateau or Western Upland. The highlands are pronounced in the Akiti area of the region, especially around the Efen Ridge and the Okamesi Fold Belt, which have heights in excess of 732 meters (2,400 feet) and are characterized by numerous waterfalls and springs such as Olimiran Waterfall, Arinta Waterfall, and Efen Waterfall. The highest elevation is found at the Adanre Inselberg Hills, which have heights in excess of 1,050 meters. In general, the landscape of the interior is undulating land with occasional inselbergs jutting out dramatically from the surrounding rolling landscape. Some include, Okeag Bay Hills, 790 meters, Olasunta in Akere Akiti, 690 meters, Shaki Inselbergs, and Igbeti Hill. With coastal plains, southern lowlands, and interior highlands, Yorubaland has several large rivers and streams that crisscross the terrain. These rivers flow in two general directions within the Yoruba country, southwards into the lagoons and creeks which empty into the Atlantic Ocean, and northwards into the Niger River. The Osun River which empties into the Leki Lagoon, the Ogun River which empties into the Lagos Lagoon, Mono River, Oba River, Awena River, Arinle River, Yewa River which discharges into the Badagri Creek, Akpara River which drains into the Porto Novo Lagoon, Weime River, Ero River between Akiti State and Kwara State, among numerous others. Others such as the Moshi River, Oshin and Oi flow towards the Niger north. The Nigerian part of Yorubaland comprises today's Oyo, Osun, Ogun, Kwara, Ondo, Akiti, Lagos as well as parts of Kogi. The Beninese portion consists of Weime Department, Plateau Department, Collines Department, Chauru Commune of Borgu Department, Basila Commune of Donga Department, Winhi and Zogbodomi Commune of Zo Department, and Kandi Commune of Alabori Department. The Togolese portions are the Agu and Est Mono prefectures in Plateau region, and the T Chumba prefecture in Central region. Topic: <inaudible> Vegetation and climate. The climate of Yoruba land varies from north to south. The southern, central, and eastern portions of the territory is tropical high forest covered in thick verdant foliage and composed of many varieties of hardwood timber, such as Militia excelsa, which is more commonly known locally as Iroko, Antiaris africana, Terminalia superba, which is known locally as Afara, Intandrifrigma or Sapili, Lophira alata, Triplochyton scaroxylon or Abesh, Kaya grandifoliola or African mahogany, and Symphonia globulifera, amongst numerous other species. Some non-native species such as Tectona grandis teak, and Melina arborea pulpwood, have been introduced into the ecosystem and are being extensively grown in several large forest plantations. The ecosystem here forms the major section of the Nigerian lowland forest region, the broadest forested section of Nigeria. The coastal section of this area features an area covered by swamp flats and dominated by such plants as mangroves and other stilt plants as well as palms, ferns and coconut trees on the beaches. 
This portion includes most of Ondo, Akiti, Ogun, Osun, Lagos states and is characterized by generally high levels of precipitation defined by a double maxima, peak period, March to July and September to November. Annual rainfall in Okitapupa, for example, averages 1,900 mm. The area is the center of a thriving cocoa, natural rubber, cola nut and oil palm production industry, as well as lucrative logging. Ondo, Akiti and Osun states are the leading producers of cocoa in Nigeria, while the southern portions of Ogun and Ondo states Adigbo, Okitapupa and Arele play host to large plantations of oil palm and rubber. The northern and western portions of the region is characterized by tropical woodland savanna climate or, with a single rainfall maxima. This area covers the northern two-third of Oyo, northwestern Ogun, Kwara, Kogi, Collines, Benin, northern half of Plateau Department Benin, and central Togo. Part of this region is derived savanna which was once covered in forest but has lost tree cover due to agricultural and other pressures on land. Annual rainfall here hovers between 1,100 and 1,500 mm. Annual precipitation in Aloran for example is 1,220 mm. Tree species here include the Blygia sapida more commonly known as Aki in English and Ishan in Yoruba, and Parkia biglobosa which is the locust bean tree used in making iru or agiri, a local cooking condiment. The monsoon rainy period in both climatic zones is followed by a drier season characterized by northwest trade winds that bring the harmattan cold dust laden windstorms that blow from the Sahara. They normally affect all areas except a small portion of the southern coast. Nonetheless, it has been reported that the harmattan has reached as far as Lagos in some years. Topic: <laughs> Administrative divisions. Topic. Prehistory and oral tradition Topic. Settlement Adudwa is regarded as the legendary progenitor of the Yoruba, and almost every Yoruba settlement traces its origin to princes of Ile Ife in Osun State, Nigeria. As such, IFE can be regarded as the cultural and spiritual homeland of the Yoruba nation, both within and outside Nigeria. According to an Oyo account, Adudwa was a Yoruba emissary, said to have come from the east, sometimes understood by some sources as the vicinity, true east on the cardinal points, but more likely signifying the region of the Akitian Okan sub-communities in Yoruba land, Nigeria. On the other hand, linguistic evidence seems to corroborate the fact that the eastern half of Yorubaland was settled at an earlier time in history than the western regions, as the northwest and southwest Yoruba dialects show more linguistic innovations than the central and eastern counterparts. <laughs> Pre-Civil War Between 1100 and 1700, the Yoruba Kingdom of Ife experienced a golden age, part of which was a sort of artistic and ideological renaissance. It was then surpassed by the Oyo Empire as the dominant Yoruba military and political power between 1700 and 1900. Yoruba people generally feel a deep sense of culture and tradition that unifies and helps identify them. There are 16 established kingdoms, states that are said to have been descendants of Adudwa himself. The other sub-kingdoms and chiefdoms that exist are second-order branches of the original 16 kingdoms. There are various groups and subgroups in Yoruba land based on the many distinct dialects of the Yoruba language, which although all mutually intelligible, have peculiar differences. The governments of these diverse people are quite intricate and each group and subgroup varies in their pattern of governance. In general, government begins at home with the immediate family. The next level is the extended family with its own head, an Alori Ebi. A collection of distantly related extended families makes up a town. The individual chiefs that serve the towns as corporate entities, called aloyes, are subject to the barleys that rule over them. A collection of distantly related towns makes up a clan. A separate group of aloyes are subject to the oba that rules over an individual clan, and this oba may himself be subject to another oba, depending on the grade of the obership. In this, government begins at home. The father of the family is considered the head and his first wife is the mother of the house. If her husband chooses to marry another wife, that wife must show proper respect to the first wife even if the first wife is chronologically younger. Children are taught to have respect for all those who are older than they are. 
This includes their parents, aunts, uncles, elder siblings, and cousins who they deal with every day. Any adult presumably has as much authority over a child as the child's parents do. All members of a particular clan live in the same compound and share family resources, rights, and possessions such as land. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Government. IFE was surpassed by the Oyo Empire as the dominant Yoruba military and political power between 1600 CE and 1800 CE. The nearby Kingdom of Benin was also a powerful force between 1300 and 1850 CE. Most of the city-states were controlled by obas, priestly monarchs, and councils made up of aloyes, recognized leaders of royal, noble and, often, even common descent, who joined them in ruling over the kingdoms through a series of guilds and sects. Different states saw differing ratios of power between the kingship and the chief's council. Some, such as Oyo, had powerful, autocratic monarchs with almost total control, while in others such as the Ajebu city-states, the senatorial councils were supreme and the Oba served as something of a figurehead. In all cases, however, Yoruba monarchs were subject to the continuing approval of their constituents as a matter of policy, and could be easily compelled to abdicate for demonstrating dictatorial tendencies or incompetence. The order to vacate the throne was usually communicated through an arako or symbolic message, which usually took the form of parrot eggs delivered in a covered calabash bowl by the Ogboni senators. In most cases, the message would compel the Oba to take his own life, which he was bound by oath to do. Topic. Civil war Following a jihad known as the Fulani War led by Uthman Dan Fodio and a rapid consolidation of the Hausa city-states of contemporary northern Nigeria, the Fulani Sokoto Caliphate annexed the Buffer Nupe Kingdom and began to press southwards towards the Oyo Empire. Shortly after, they overran the Yoruba city of Aloran and then sacked Oyo Isle, the capital city of the Oyo Empire. Further attempts by the Sokoto Caliphate to expand southwards were checked by the Yoruba who had rallied to resist under the military leadership of the city-state of Abadan, which rose from the old Oyo Empire, and of the Ajebu city-states. However, the Oyo hegemony had been dealt a mortal blow. The other Yoruba city-states broke free of Oyo dominance, and subsequently became embroiled in a series of internecine wars, a period when millions of individuals were forcibly transported to the Americas and the Caribbean, eventually ending up in such countries as the Bahamas, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Brazil, Haiti and Venezuela, among others. Topic. European colonization of the Yoruba These wars weakened the Yoruba in their opposition to what was coming next, British military invasions. The military defeat at Amagban of Ajebu forces by the British colonial army in 1882 ensured a tentative European settlement in Lagos, one which was gradually expanded by protectorate treaties. These treaties proved decisive in the eventual annexation of the rest of Yoruba land and, eventually, of southern Nigeria and the Cameroons. In 1960, Greater Yorubaland was subsumed into the Federal Republic of Nigeria. According to Yoruba historians, by the time the British came to colonize and subjugate Yorubaland first to itself and later to the Fulani of northern Nigeria, the Yoruba were getting ready to recover from what is popularly known as the Yoruba Civil War. One of the lessons of the internecine Yoruba Wars was the opening of Yorubaland to Fulani hegemony whose major interest was the imposition of sultanistic despotism on Old Oyo Isle and present-day Aloran. The most visible consequence of this was the adding of almost one-fifth of Yoruba land from Offa to Old Oyo to Kaba to the then northern Nigeria of Lord Frederick Lugard and the subsequent subjugation of this portion of Yoruba land under the control of Fulani feudalism. <laughs> <laughs> Demographics Yoruba land is one of the most populated ethnic homelands in Africa. It is also highly urbanized, holding 40% of settlements in Nigeria with over 100,000 people, although there is also a very large rural population like the rest of Africa. The regional population density is considerably high, at approximately 387 people in every square kilometer. 
This population density is not evenly distributed across the region, with values ranging from more than 140,000 people per square kilometre in certain districts of Lagos like Mushan, Ajiromi Ifolodan, Shomulu, Agege and Asale Eko, which are among the world's densest, to 42,000 people per square kilometre in the urban city core of Abadan. On a subregional level, the Akiti, Osan, Southern and Central Ogun, Porto Novo and suburbs, Abadan Metro, Lagos, and the Akoko area of northern Ondo State are the vicinities with the higher population densities. On the contrasting end of the spectrum, Ifolodan and Moro local government areas of Central Kwara, with densities of about 80 people per square kilometre, Ajebu Eastern Ogun Waterside local government areas of Eastern Ogun with densities of around 95 people per square kilometre, Atasbo and Iwajo LGAs in Western Oyo 50 and 55 ppl per square kilometre, as well as Central Benin and Togolese Yorubaland have the lowest densities. Typically, cities are laid out such that both the Palace of the King or Paramount Chief and the Central Market are located in the city core. This area is immediately surrounded by the town itself, which is in turn surrounded by farmland and smaller villages. The larger settlements in Yorubaland tend to be nucleated in nature, with very high densities surrounded by agricultural areas of low density. Cities grow from the inside out. By definition the nearer a part of town is to the city core, the older it is, with the palace and the central market in the very center of town being the oldest establishments and the foundation of the city itself. 